Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we are going to finally do Gunslinger Endless, as I've wanted to do for a while. That's, that's probably what we want. What I really want is this, so that we slow them down, because that seems pretty sick. That seems maybe also pretty cool, but so does that. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see as we go. We get a level up pretty quick. So... Yeah, we're going to do a uh, an endless run here on, I don't know, can you, no you can't, I was thinking if you could do endless on biolabs and just keep looping, but I guess it uh, doesn't let you do that. What's Carol on Hamlet? I don't know, but we're going to, we're going to do an endless run on this. I'm not sure how long we're going to last. We're either going to die because I'm bad. Uh, or we're gonna go for about like two hours. Like I can't, I can't play more than that. <laughs> That's just too much time spent. Oh, it's this map. Yeah, 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 yeah. So down here is a decent spot. Oh, I missed. So the 1858 revolvers are pretty good. Honestly, I prefer the this thing the 9 millimeter if I can um, actually shoot with it I don't know for some reason I just find the dual wielding weapons just to be so hard to aim I'm not sure why but I think it, there's just something about it that just kind of messes me up so gunslinger has always been a perk that I've not really been good at at all because of that because it's all about the the dual wielding and all of that, but we're gonna go for the center fire. Um, we're not gonna only use the center fire because that would be a horrible idea for for someone like me. Uh, we're also gonna get something. <laughs> I don't know what weapons are good on Gunslinger. Is that like a thing? No, it's just leaves. You can't. It's not a collectible. Up here's a pretty good camping spot because you get some. Um, what's the center fire worth? What do, what do you have to pay for it? 650? Ah, we're close. Why did I buy ammo for that one? I don't know. Because you get um, small Zeds coming through here. I don't think you can get big Zeds. Oh, God. I don't think you can get big Zeds coming through there. You have a place to retreat, I guess. Um, and then you just kind of hold off this one lane. Um, but it's, it's really good if you have a Medic. Because then you have the Medic. Just watch the, uh, the back spawns. And everybody else takes out the big Zeds and everything else. Yeah, see, it, it just... The instant there's, like, another weapon, I'm just bad. Once once there's two weapons being held, my, my entire brain just... Gives up. <laughs> um, not sure why, but... It's something I have to work on, so we'll probably be playing uh, Gunslinger quite a bit until I'm a little bit more used to it. I want to get it to 25, because it is a perk that I enjoy playing. You know, it is a precision perk, and that's my kind of thing. I also want to get better at bashing. Really want to get better at bashing. I think you want to aim above where you're hitting, right? So, like, aim here, and that'll be a headshot. Kind of like... Yeah, I think I'm kind of getting used to it. So I'm used to like pointing and clicking, but I guess you're like hitting below your thing, so you have to aim up, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of seemed to work there, pretty pretty okay. Uh, so we get the center fire here finally, uh, with a little bit of ammo as well, which will be nice. SPX center fire. I have a little skin for it too. I don't really like it that much, but it, it's it's a thing, so that's okay. Um, I believe on Hell on Earth it should three shot Zed or three shot Scrakes in the face with uh, five rack em ups. Maybe two shot with five rack em ups and three shot with no rack em ups. I guess there isn't enough Zeds for me to not be using this, eh? 
Maybe, maybe with my accuracy there is enough sets for me to not want to use this, but I don't know. I'm also not really a fan of the... Ah, that was a, that was a headshot. Don't even. Um, I'm not a fan of the, uh... What is this kind of thing? Bolt action? Lever action? I'm not sure. I don't really like it, though. Where you have to, like, reload each individual bullet. It's, uh, just kind of, I don't know. I like, I like reloading quickly. Or having, like, a bajillion bullets in one, like, with the, uh, the stoner with the commando. That's also fun. But having to spend so long reloading with this is, uh, a little bit frustrating at times. Uh, we are going to go for a different weapon. I'm not sure what yet, uh, but we do need something for handling trash sets. I mean, we don't need something, but this is endless, so, you know, may as well take something, right? It is satisfying to pop a bunch of heads, though, you know? That is, that is what this game is all about, and it does it very well. Until you have to reload. And then all of a sudden, it's uh, it's not, 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 not as fun. Yeah, I gotta start bashing the crawlers, because I say as I'm shooting crawlers. Panic, I'm panicked. I'm sorry. Hey, I headshotted it. Hey, okay. We're getting somewhere now. I think that when you have the um the slow Zeds thing down, you can like rack up your rack them up with this pistol on like Zeds and then go for the center fire because you'll slow them down and you won't be able to do so much damage to enrage them. Although on hard, maybe maybe you can. On hard, as Gunslinger, you can probably just take out like a Scrape with the 9mm. It's my guess. It's probably not like something that you'd want to do, but out of all the classes, I feel like Gunslinger is probably the one that would do best with the 9mm against the Scrape. We just don't have... we don't have money. I want to go through there. By my um, for the first boss, good. I feel like we don't really have to worry too much about it. We're probably going to be able to kill it in like a few shots. Because yeah, they they, they 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 have so little health the on the uh, the first difficult on the first fight, you know. So as long as I'm able to actually hit. We're gonna head down here. You should just die. Yeah. Not 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 a challenge. The first boss on hard endless is nothing. Uh, so we got a new perk. I'm thinking we're gonna want to go for speed loader. Reloading faster seems better than shooting three more sets, because how often do you really line them up, you know? How often do you have like multiple Zeds lined up and they aren't like clots, you know? Hey, that one felt good. That one didn't. Okay, yeah, not feeling good. Okay, we're just gonna have to start shooting because these guys.
We almost had him lined up there, so it was almost relevant. But I feel like the uh, the reloading is just significantly more useful, you know. There's so much bobbing. Oh, this is not where you want to be. We're not going to be able to jump. I was planning on jumping. We're not going to be able to. Okay, we got we got our health back. We're okay. Gunslinger's not 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 the perk for me. Sharpshoot is okay because you only need like one shot. But Gunslinger takes like the most skill I feel out of everything. Where are you going, bud? Because you 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 you're 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 about high damage and fast shots rather than just extremely high damage. You know, so as the sharpshooter, you don't really have to practice takedowns. You just shoot them in the face and they die. Whereas with the gunslinger, it's it's really important to be able to actually trace their heads as they're raging around and stuff because they, um... Like, we're just not getting money. <laughs> There's just no money. No money's to be had. I want to be buying, like, pistols and stuff, too. What we here, you know? and so I feel like that's what this is really about, not necessarily the centerfire. Although it is real nice. Is this We're going to go this way. Because I see a weapon that we can sell. Can we, like, activate this? No. We don't really have to be kiting this much and hard, I guess, but... Better practice, I guess, to try and not get hit. I am so awful with aiming. And it only gets worse, right? Like, once once we get the... The pistols, it's only gonna get worse. It doesn't get better. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, boy. That worked out okay. But we do have a, a pack of them coming up soon, I think. Yeah, from right... Oh, no, that doesn't sound like a pack. That sounds like an actual plushie. No, it is a pack. Okay. Quarter pounds are no big deal. Quarter pounds are no big deal. Not sure. I, I guess I know why they made quarter pounds, but eh, they're not really my thing. I, I don't like them so much. So this gun is garbage. Dual Spitfires can be fun, though. I used to get Dual Spitfires on pretty much every run um, back in Killing Floor 1. I'd always get, you know, one of them. I guess we can buy one of the deagles. Have it. Just as another weapon in case we're getting overwhelmed or something. When you don't have both of them, it's yeah, probably not as good because you only get seven bullets. And I'm not sure that'll be enough to take something down. Maybe it is. I, I have no context for it. What's up here? A place with no exit? No, we got an exit. Okay. Not really a good place to be, though, I don't think. Ah, oh, one-shotting the sirens is very satisfying, though. See, when I'm not overwhelmed, I, I can aim pretty well. But then I start to get like a bunch of enemies on me at once and just too much for me to handle. Oh boy, we're, we're probably going to die here. Can 
can you kill the Scrake for me? No? That's fine. I really gotta practice the takedowns with Gunslinger though. If I wanna start playing it like regularly. I don't know, it was kinda not that easy. The Deagle seems reasonably powerful. It's a feel-good weapon, you know? It feels good to fire, because it feels like a big, powerful gun. What's over here? I don't think I've ever gone this way. Okay, the difficulty just raised. Can I please just shoot you? Oh my god. I don't know, not me. I'm not a marksman. I'm wasting bullets out the wazoo. Okay. He died at least. That's all you can really ask for when you're taking down a flesh pound, right? Is that they die. Okay, I thought I had to reload, and I hit. Instead of hitting... Okay, this is probably where we die. Is my guess. Perhaps not? Perhaps we can save it? Yeah, I think we saved it. I was confident that that was death. That was a pretty good takedown. I missed one shot, but that was that was pretty good. I'm pretty content with that one. So this is a real boss fight with actual health and all of that. I don't. I really don't. Uh, we'll go for the dual deagles, because why not? And hope it's not the matriarch. Again. Oh, Rick and Dad used to have one of those. There's a lot of like places to jump in this map. It's nice. I'm back, and I've got some new tricks. Okay, I'm thinking deagles for this guy. Uh, okay, apparently they're not. Apparently they're not on two anymore. Yeah, that, that, that worked pretty well, I think. <laughs> that one felt pretty good. Patty's never really that hard, though. This cat's back in the game. Can I take your weapon? Can I take your little vials? I remember that this is over here now. You're dead. You're dead. Feeling pretty good about the dual decals at this point, so we're gonna stick with them. Oh crap. Okay, they are less powerful than the SPX centerfire. Takes more shots. I thought it would take pretty much the same shots. I thought they'd be pretty similarly powered, but 
Centerfire is just more powerful, it seems. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that's about how I, th I thought it would go. I'm just not good as the gunslinger, you know? I really gotta practice with it. So we'll probably be doing a lot of gunslinger. Because I wanna get better at it. Because I, it's so much fun. It is a fun class. And in my opinion, the one that requires the most skill. So if you've mastered it, then you've kinda mastered KF2, you know? Uh, but that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.